Hello there. Here's an obvious question for you. Are you in anorexia recovery and you just really fear weight gain? Or maybe you've eaten unrestrictedly for a while and you've gotten into the normal BMI zone and you just feel like the wind has gone out of your sails, like you have no more inspiration. Well, watch the following video, like or subscribe, and peace. Hello there, my name is Billy Juliana. I'm 49 years old and I have a 40 year history of dealing with anorexia nervosa. And I'm currently following the recovery methods espoused by Tabitha Farrar, Kayla Rose Kotecki, and Elisa Orris. And today I just wanted to talk about normal weight or average weight or normal BMI or average BMI doldrums. That is, when you get into anorexia recovery and you start eating again and you gain weight and you get up into the normal BMI zone and then the wind just goes out of your sails. That's the doldrums. So I want to preface the video by saying that I'm probably going to be repeating a lot of what I have said in previous videos, but you know what? Repetition is a good thing in anorexia recovery. Since we're trying to rewire the anorexic circuitry that is hardwired in our brains, repetition really helps with that rewiring process. It also helps for me quash the voices of the medical community and society that go into my anorexic circuitry and just feed it. So repetition really helps with both of those things. And so I don't really mind a little repetition. So bear with me as I repeat myself. I also want to say that my coach at the outset of this journey has said, cancel all concerns heretoforeward about your body weight body weight should no longer matter to you because your biology is going to take care of that particular matter and if you try to meddle with your biology that is try to control your body weight or suppress it in any way shape or form you are only going to be igniting the anorexic circuitry in your brain and keeping it active so you have to cancel all your concerns about body weight and i'm like hmm that's a bit of a tall order how, how do I do this? And what really happened for me in my recovery journey was it took me about a year to understand really what unrestricted eating was. But when I really got down and got into unrestricted eating, I gained weight very rapidly. And I hadn't yet really gotten the part about no body weight suppression. I had a vague idea about it, but I was hoping beyond hope that my body weight would stop somewhere in the lower ranges of the BMI zone and that my mental and physical hunger would stop also and that I'd be recovered right there at this certain place that was going to look better than I thought it would if it were higher. So that was my hope that kept lingering in the back of my brain and that's anorexia and I never let go of that. So yes, I did gain weight rapidly. I got up into sort of the middle of the BMI zone and I froze because I was really scared. I was going, I am still really, really hungry and I'm still gaining weight at a rapid pace. Where is this going? I'm like, it's looking like it's going above the higher end of the BMI chart. I don't like this. I don't think this is healthy certainly doesn't look good. Now, first things first here, my just even considering a BMI chart is wrong. <laughs> it does not need to be part of my concerns anymore. I do not need to be worrying about terms like obesity and BMI charts and heavy and stocky and pudgy and any kind of thing that is assigned to body weight, shape or form that in our society is considered negative. I don't need to be paying attention to numbers either. And I know it's difficult because even if we're not weighing ourselves, our bodies are changing and, and they are growing. Mine certainly did. And I had to change my clothing sizes several times, but I still need to emphasize for myself that I need to banish all of this negativity. I need to get rid of all of the thoughts that have kept me stuck. And so I'm really now coming to terms with that. I'm really realizing that I have to let my body dictate the ultimate end goal weight. I can no longer meddle with that. 
And yes, my anorexic brain does get angry with my coach for promoting this philosophy. I do have to get mad at her sometimes and go, it is easy for you to say, go to an unsuppressed body weight when your unsuppressed body weight is in a smaller frame and you're 100 feet tall. I am short and heading to Stoutsville. That's what I keep telling myself. And I know this sounds really ugly and negative, and I hope I don't get any thumbs down votes for using these ugly terms to describe weight and body size, but I just need to say it to myself that I need to sweep this all away and get it off my boat because I am sitting in the anorexic doldrums thinking about this stuff and I need to get the wind going again and start smooth sailing. So this is my personal message to myself. I need to stop assigning any value to body weight, body size, and body shape. And even if that means that I am going outside of some chart or whatever, I can't really care about that. And I really can't even know that. I shouldn't be weighing myself. I shouldn't be pinching myself and looking at the skin on my body. I shouldn't be assessing myself in the mirror. I shouldn't even be judging myself via the clothing size. I know this is so much easier said than done because I'm sitting here living it and I know how hard it is. But I do need to train my brain not to care anymore. And the ultimate message here is what is the end goal of this whole process that is very difficult. The end goal is to get away and to liberate myself from the enslavement and the torture and the deprivations of anorexia nervosa. There's no way to get away from that unless I allow my body to do its thing, to do whatever it needs to do, be whatever shape, size, form it needs to be. It's just going to go to where it is optimally healthy. And I just want to say that my body too at this time is not showing signs of optimal health. Even after gaining a bunch of weight, I thought that my body would actually look healthier, you know, in my blood work and stuff. And I went to my annual physical last year and I came out with like a terrible profile. It looked terrible. And to some extent, I'm like, I'm sorry I went to the doctor in the middle of recovery. That probably wasn't a smart thing to do, but I went because I was being a dutiful citizen and doing my annual exam. But my body is only going to get to optimal health. What the blood work showed was that it was under a lot of stress, that I had actually gained weight, yes, but my body was in an inflammatory process because I'd stopped giving it the food it really wanted and needed. And I was restricting at the time the blood work was taken. So my body was showing signs that it was stressed. It had been fed and it had been working on making all the repairs that it needed to do. And then I'd shut that off and then it was showing signs of inflammation. And so in the end, I need to get to a place where I am optimally healthy and let my body dictate what that weight is. And I need to keep feeding it and calm it down and not have it be so stressed. I also need to do this with my mind as well. I have to keep my mind focused on the fact that I want that wind to start churning again, get into my sails and help me float freely away from this ugliness that is starvation and deprivation. That is a terrible way to live. And I've got these catacombs in my brain that are just sitting there that are full of anorexia junk. And I wanna clear out those catacombs and create a nice feng shui space where my brain can put other things that are nice and new and tidy. Now I know that life is gonna hit me in all kinds of crazy ways, but I'll be better able to deal with life with this nice little space up here than the old catacombs full of skeletons and crypts and weird relics. I don't need any of that stuff. So I need just to remind myself, what is my main goal? It is to get rid of the anorexia and I have to let my body do its thing. I have to let it go to wherever it deems necessary and I have to not be concerned about overshoot or anything like that 
whether I'm going to gain over my set point or what my set point is. None of that should be going on in my brain. What should be going on in my brain is, am I thinking about food? Yes. Should I be eating something? Yes. So why don't I go eat? Should I be out there running around, taking walks, going on runs, playing tennis, playing basketball, doing things extra to move myself? Hmm, probably not. Why is that? Because I still feel very, very tired and my body is under a lot of stress. And just living, as I've said before, just living is exercise enough for my body. It is so tired and depleted from the old ways that my body needs a prolonged period of rest. So the best things that I can do, again, are to start eating unrestrictedly, consistently, and to rest. And someone commented on one of my videos just a while ago and asked me, are you walking the talk? And I replied back and I said, no, <laughs> I'm not. I'm saying a lot of this stuff on camera actually to say it to myself because I need to reignite my own recovery. I get stuck in the anorexia doldrums by being in the normal weight zone. And I just feel like, well, you know, I'm not really all that sick anymore and I'm really scared about where my weight is going to end up. So I'm just going to hang out here. But this is not a very fun place to be. It's not a very fun place to hang out. And I want to be free of all this enslavement over here that's going on in my brain. I want to actually see where my brain ends up as well. And so I'm curious to know what life is like as a free person. So that question on that video was actually very appropriate. You know, that person was concerned asking, you know, hey, you're saying eat all this food, but are you doing it? And I have to say, I do it some and then I stop. And why do I do it? Because numerous reasons. I've got a pickled brain for one thing and I've got all these weird ideas about how anorexia has helped and benefited me. But A number one on the list is fear of weight gain. Always and forever it will be the A number one fear until I just realize, you know what, what do I want? I want to be free of anorexia so I cannot control whatever this body is doing. So if it takes me to whatever weight that is, then it takes me to whatever weight that is. And I'm okay with that, right? I'm convincing myself by making this video that yes, I am okay with that. And that I am also going to enjoy every bite of unrestricted eating that I'm going to take in. I'm also going to enjoy all the rest that I can get. And usually when I'm watching a recovery video, I bring a snack along to eat because I find it very encouraging to watch something that is encouraging and eat at the same time. That all seems like it fits. So I hope that you bring snacks when you watch my videos. I also hope that once you click off, you go get another snack because it's exactly what I'm going to go do right now. But first, I will say I'm going to play a clip of a song. I might play it right now. And I want you to guess the artist who is performing that song, okay? And just write it in the comments. Not for any kind of contest or anything like that, just for bragging rights. Tell me if you know who does that song, okay? That's just a new thing I'm gonna introduce is name that artist. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, everybody, please take care. Eat unrestrictedly. I certainly am going to do that. I'm going to walk the talk and I'm gonna to have to let my body do its thing in the meantime. But everybody, please, yes, do take care, eat unrestrictedly, and peace.